Hey, this is Tris, Editor-in-Chief at iPhone Hacks, and this is my review of the iPad 4. Well, if you're looking at the pictures in this post, you can tell um, that the iPad 3 and the iPad 4 functionally look essentially identical. They're identical, except for the, 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 the lightning port. If that comes into focus, but there it is. That's the only thing that's different um, on the outside. Oh, though I did notice that on my iPad 3, it actually marked the size on the back of the the, the unit, whereas on my iPad 4, it doesn't mark the size, but it's they're both 32 gigs. So, the screen's the same. The f fit, form, feel, function is all the same. What's different? It's the guts. It's what's under the hood. It's the A6X chip versus the A5 chip that uh, that we're, we're looking at. And the Geekbench scores... Those uh, bear bear this out. You look at what's in the the post, and they're you know twice, the iPad Four is twice as fast. Now, what does this mean for you? What does this mean in reality? Essentially, right now, what it means is that apps will load faster. Okay. iPhoto, GarageBand, iMovie, games, pretty surfing, those will all go faster. Okay on the 4 than they did on the 3. Gameplay, like real racing. If I fire this off, you'll see it, it loads faster. The little spinny thing actually loads visibly faster in the corner there, if you saw that, than it did before uh, on my 3, which I was just playing with. So, play the same game, and yeah, you know, the gameplay's the same. It reacts all the same. The graphics look great. And why is that? Well, if it's so much faster in the hood, what? Why aren't we seeing a difference? Well, it's because the app developers hadn't haven't had time to create games specifically for this, you know, quad core graphics chip in here. Um, the, we just we're just not taking advantage of the GPU yet. Um, now, the other thing about the three that people noticed, and I certainly noticed, was after you've been using it for a while, especially with something graphic intensive, maybe iMovie, iPhoto, playing an intense game, that it gets warm. You know, noticeably warm to the touch. And uh, the four, I didn't find that it that was the case, or at least not to the same degree. It was getting a little warm, but nothing that, you know, I would be too concerned about. What about my buying advice? I think this is what it's going to come down to for everyone because the iPad 4 is an incremental update to, say, the new gen iPad line, the Retina iPad line. If you have an, an original iPad or an iPad 2, um, this is a great and amazing upgrade. Screen's going to blow your mind. The, the load speed of everything is going to blow your mind. You'll just love it, period. If you have an iPad 3 and you're kind of thinking, mm, what do I get? You know, do I get a, a a new iPad or maybe the Mini? Here's for size comparison. There's the Mini versus the iPad. I might think go for the Mini if that fits in your budget. Uh, because we know this, this was a really fast refresh that Apple pulled on us. And we weren't expecting it. We would expect something maybe mid to, you know, 2013 in the spring not the end of 2012. So if you have a 3 and you're happy with it, why don't you stick with it? See what Apple rolls out in the spring. Um, well, I mean, we have no idea, but you, if nothing else, um, what you'll see right now if you go from a 3 to a 4 is apps load faster. iPhoto is faster, much more responsive, much more fun to use. Is that worth it to you? Is that worth the upgrade price? Trying to sell, you know, sell your iPad three to someone because it's been discontinued. It's not like the iPad two that's still kicking around. That's my advice. Do I really love my iPad four? Yes. Uh, my wife is going to inherit my iPad three, and we'll be finding a home for her iPad two. She's really looking forward to the jump up to Retina. I think that's kind of the this thing. If you're on the non-Retina iPad, now is a great time to make the jump. So, this was my iPad 4 review. Um, games play great. Things load faster. Same fit, feel, form, function. It's under the hood that makes the difference. But right now, we're not seeing 
anything take advantage of the quad-core GPU that this baby has got under its hood. So there we go. Until next time.